What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Margarita and today I'm going to show you different product research methods that I personally use that have found me multi-million dollar winners over and over and over again. So if you're interested in learning these different product research methods then definitely keep on watching and definitely watch till the end because there is going to be a lot of value in this video. get into the different product research methods I am going to give you some product criteria for you to have an idea of what you're looking for so first of all I focus on these three different types of products products that solve a problem wow factor products and passion products and I'm going to give you a bunch of different examples of each one the different products may fit into just more than one of the different product categories but I'm just going to show you all the different products and kind of the categories that they fit into so the first product I want to talk about is the 9-in-1 push-up board it is a product that solves a problem because it gives you an entire workout at home and it's also a wow factor product because when you look at it you're like oh wow like what is that I kind of want to try it it makes you curious the next product I'm going to talk about is the back stretcher and it it is another problem solving product that cracks your back and it fixes your posture and it has all these different health benefits of having a straight back and it's gone viral multiple times. The next product that is a problem solving product is the heated vest. It is a vest that you kind of put whenever you're in the winter, you turn it on and it heats up your body. Another problem solving product, but also a wow factor product are the TikTok booty lifting leggings. They solve the problem of a flat butt and it makes you have an entire peach in the dump truck. And last but not least for a problem solving product is this TikTok flashlight that you literally turn it on and it looks like you just turned on the lights of an entire stadium. You can use it whenever you're hiking, whenever you're camping, but it is also a wow factor product because how often do you turn on a flashlight and then it brightens up the entire street. So those are a couple problem solving products. Next we have passion products. Passion products can be dog products such as the dog calming bed or a custom necklace with your mom's name on it or your dog on the necklace zodiac sign anything right now zodiac signs are trending i've talked about this on my tiktok anything zodiac sign related i've sold a zodiac sign rose that has a zodiac sign on the top and that's kind of what made it blow up and last but not least we have the wow factor products which include the sunset lamp that is literally a huge viral product right now obviously you turn on this lamp and it creates an entire sunset inside your home then we have the mini projector that's not really a problem solving product but a wow factor product because it's allowing anybody to have a mini projector in their home this is something that we would only see in a classroom and now you can easily have it in your bedroom and then other wow factor products again the booty lifting leggings we were seeing ads on it of like women putting it on and their men being like things like that major wow factor and again the flashlight you turn it on and you're lighting up an entire stadium with this flashlight so wow factor okay so now that we have an idea of the different types of products and we have examples of these different type of products and why they're working please make sure that you remember problem solving wow factor and passion product all right now that we know the different types of products and examples of the different type of products this is another thing to keep in mind don't waste your time on a product that you cannot sell over $30. If a product is $15, $10, you, it's literally almost impossible to sell this product with price fluctuations, chargebacks, running your business. You want to make a profit. Make sure you're not wasting your time on cheap products, both cheap in quality and cheap in price products, because it's just not worth your time. Definitely look for products, again, that you can sell for over $30. Okay, so now that we have the product criteria out of the way, we can get into the product research methods. The first way of doing product research is on Facebook and Instagram, and the idea of this research method is to trick Facebook and Instagram to think that you are someone who buys and shops often from the ads that they show you. So I'm going to show you exactly how to trick the Facebook pixel. And if you don't know what the Facebook pixel is, it's pretty much what tracks all the things that you do on your Facebook and your Instagram. So every time you click an ad, the Facebook pixel pings. So every time you go on a website and you add something to cart, you initiate checkout, the Facebook pixel is being pinged like, hey, this person is shopping from an Instagram or a Facebook ad and that is gonna cause Facebook to start showing you more and more and more ads. So I'm gonna show you how to trick the Facebook pixel. Okay, so the first product research method is Facebook and Instagram. So the key thing here is to make Facebook and Instagram believe that you are an engaged shopper. And pretty much what that means is that Facebook and Instagram think that you are more likely to shop from their ads 
than other people. So if we look here, I am already on Facebook and this is my news feed to say hello to all my friends, but I don't really wanna see all my friends and family right now, no offense to them. Right now I'm doing product research, so I'm gonna put you on this little hack. I have this app called My Ad Finder, and right here we can turn this off and back on, and it's only gonna show us ads. This is really good so you don't get distracted whenever you're doing product research. So we're scrolling down, and now we're only gonna start seeing ads on our news feed. So I'm just gonna scroll down until I see something that looks like a drop shipping product. I'm also gonna keep in mind that we're looking for wow factor, passion products, or products that solve a problem. Here we have the sunset lamp that we talked about earlier. I personally wouldn't test it right now. It's a bit like older now. I'm definitely starting to look for new products. Okay, so now we have a hand massager, okay. Has lots of comments, lots of engagement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light and shop now. Actually, backtrack. If you don't have the My Ad Finder Chrome extension, all you have to do is go to the Chrome store, type My Ad Finder, and download it. Once you have it, you'll just have to turn it on. And here we're gonna start seeing products. I guess this is, does solve a problem for hands. Anybody who has arthritis or chronic pains on their hands, this is a good product that will solve one of their problems. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like and we're gonna shop now. The key here again is that we're gonna trick Facebook and Instagram into thinking that we are about to buy this product. All right, so here we have the product and we're gonna add it to our cart. We're gonna check out. And then from here, you're gonna put in all shipping information, contact information, use a fake name, use a fake address, click continue shipping, use a fake card number, just type random numbers, fill out all the information and click purchase. That is gonna be the key to really making this work. Make sure that you click purchase because it's gonna start showing Facebook and Instagram that you're definitely somebody who's attempting at least to buy something from their ads. So after we've done this, we're just gonna keep on scrolling and we're gonna do the same thing again. We have a fun, cozy blanket for kids, fun. Again, shop now, interact, interact, interact. Oh wow, now we have a sleep band. This one's really cool. I'm actually gonna like this because it could be something that I test. Really cool product, like, and do the same process again. Shop now, add it to your cart, initiate, check out the entire thing that we have to do. Now I'm gonna go back to Facebook and this is where we're gonna to get to our second product research method. But just to finish off my ad finder, it's gonna turn your entire news feed into only ads. You're gonna interact with all these ads and as Facebook and Instagram see that you're attempting to buy their products, they're gonna show you better and better and better ads as you move along. We've already found a really good product. The sleep band I believe is a really good product. It solves the problem of sleep. Sleep is a very good market because everyone does it. Men, women, kids, everybody sleeps. So this sleep is a really good thing to get into. Now that we found a product that we're actually kind of interested in, we are gonna click here on ad library. And ad library is gonna show you all the different ads that this company is running on this product or on other products that they may be selling. Right here, they're, they have two of this ad and one of this ad, and it looks like they're only running two ads on it. I believe that this product has a lot of potential, so if this company spent a little bit more time creating better ads or trendier ads, that I feel like this product may definitely go far. But this is another product research method because now we're seeing how many ads they're running, what products they're running. On a general store, you will be able to see all the different ads of all the different products that their companies are running. Now that I have liked this product, this is definitely a product that I'm thinking about testing. I have liked it and it's gonna save it in a folder on my ad finder for me to easily access it later. Now I'm gonna keep on scrolling and interacting with different ads that I see. So now let's say you've been scrolling through your newsfeed and you're not really getting many good drop shipping ads. It seems kind of dry. This is what you're gonna do next. I have another Chrome extension that I'm putting you on called Commerce Inspector. This one's pretty old. Almost all the drop shippers use it. It's not new, but I'm gonna show you how I use it and how you can use it. Here, I'm gonna actually open it in another tab and I'm going to start engaging with the different ads here. So pretty much what this is gonna do, it's gonna show Facebook and Instagram that I'm interested in drop shipping looking ads or drop shipping style stores, and that these are the type of products that I'm into. So whenever I go back on my Facebook and I'm using my ad finder to only show me ads, it's gonna show me more drop shipping ads and less big brand ads, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna be scrolling here until I find something. 
right? So I'm gonna click on this one. And the reason why I'm clicking on this one is because it has 13K likes compared to the ones around it that don't have that many. And it is the calming dog bed that we talked about earlier in the passion product. People love their pets and they're gonna do anything for their pets to not have anxiety, for them to be calm, this and that. So that is what this product is showing you. Again, we're gonna do the same thing every single time you see an ad. Go ahead and like it, go in and do the mock purchase. Because once you do the mock purchase, again, that's our goal right now, to trick Facebook and Instagram to thinking that we're gonna buy. Now we're gonna go home and I'm gonna show you how to access the Facebook ads library from their page. So if you go to page transparency, it says this page is currently running ads. And we'll see that they have 14 ads of the common dog bed right now and we see that they're a general store too and we'll see all the other different products that this company is selling okay so now i'm going to scroll a little bit more and find other products that seem to have gotten good engagement all right so this one has 35k i'm going to go in again like it i've already liked this one because i do a lot of product research i've kind of already gone through most of commerce inspector and you're going to do the same thing again engage with this ad, go through the entire checkout process. Now that we've engaged with more and more dropshipping ads on Commerce Inspector, I'm gonna go back to my Facebook feed and see if they're gonna show me new ads to look at. All right, so here we are again. We have a problem-solving product. It is a pillow for you to put under your butt and it's gonna help you with sitting discomfort and things like that. This is definitely good target for people who work from home. A lot of people are working from home and have back problems, things like that. This is a good product that can help them fix their posture and that's how you can market it. I'm gonna like it. Again, go through the entire checkout process. I'm not gonna do it every single time on this video. I'm gonna save it because this is definitely a product I'm gonna come back to. And I'm gonna go to their ad library. Right here they have 21 different ads running and they're definitely scaling this product. Right here they have two of this one. And scrolling more and more, I'm seeing the different angles they're taking. Right here, this, they're targeting truckers who sit down a lot. They are definitely scaling this product. And honestly, I would too. It is a problem-solving product for something very in demand right now. A lot of people are sitting down, and this is going to help their back problems. Really good product. We found this product by taking off everything in our newsfeed except for the ads and engaging and interacting with the ads that they gave us for Facebook and Instagram to think that we are engaged shoppers. All right, so that was how to do Facebook and Instagram product research. Everything you do on Facebook is gonna transfer over to Instagram. So now that you've interacted with a whole bunch of ads on Facebook, those ads are gonna follow you over to Instagram. Make sure to do the exact same thing on Instagram, like, engage and go through the entire checkout process okay so a cool thing about these products that we're finding on facebook and instagram is that you can be the person who takes them over to tiktok for example the pillow we just found you can be the person who creates the tiktok page specifically for that pillow and create lots and lots and lots of tiktoks for that pillow you already know the benefits it helps your butt it makes sitting down less uncomfortable this and that order the pillow and start taking it over to tiktok speaking of tiktok Let's do some TikTok product research. The cool thing about TikTok is that you're gonna be seeing people and companies doing videos for products. So there's many, many people on TikTok right now doing unboxings, Amazon made me buy, TikTok made me buy, all these type of videos to show you all the cool products that they have been buying and unboxing and things like this. And they're so happy to share it with you and you should be so thankful because you are looking for those products. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do some TikTok product research. The best way to do TikTok product research is definitely with hashtags. Hashtags I would use is TikTok made me buy, Amazon made me buy, Amazon finds, Amazon must haves, unboxing and viral products. There's so many videos of people showing you their trendy and hot products. So you definitely need to be on TikTok looking out for these videos. Um, let's say you look up a video with TikTok made me buy. That video may also have another hashtag with it. Make sure you explore as many hashtags as possible because there's a lot of things to look for on TikTok. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to TikTok made me buy and we're gonna explore the hashtag. Now we're just gonna be scrolling until we find a cool product. All right, so I've seen this shower phone case now right here and I saw it up here. 
so it definitely seems like a hot product what I would do is I would long tap and add to favorites. Remember again, the shower product does solve a problem of using your phone in the shower, so problem solved. This product right here, I talked about it in the beginning as a problem solving product and it is this back scratcher. Back stretcher. Amazing, amazing product. In the video, they also show you how like they make the crunching sound of your back very like prominent in the video that makes you kind of want to get your back cracked am I right so definitely a hot video so this is literally exactly how we're doing product research on TikTok like another back stretcher definitely apparently a very hot product another back cracker that backcracker is going hot right now, you guys. I don't focus on want products, something that you want. Like, for example, an incense burner. It's cool. It doesn't give me much of a wow factor or a problem solving or a passion product. I really focus on those three to be able to sell the products well. Product research on TikTok is very repetitive. You're just going through hashtags and looking for different products, going through a different hashtag, going through a different hashtag and saving it. Okay, so there's not much to tell you about TikTok. I already gave you the product criteria that you're looking for. So one of these nights, whenever you just have free time on your hands, start looking through hashtags and start looking for products that catch your attention and that have viral potential. My favorite way right now of doing product research again is on Facebook and Instagram, especially because a lot of those companies haven't came over to TikTok yet. So I would take those products and be the one that brings them over to TikTok. But TikTok hashtags is also a really, really, really good place to find product. It's very tedious and I'm I'm gonna sit here just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling I'm telling you how to do it I've given you lots of different product examples and we did product research to see more product examples so I definitely hope that that helps you doing your TikTok product research so those are my two main ways of doing product research I have been doing the same strategy of Facebook and Instagram for a couple years now and that is actually how I found most of my winners and now the new TikTok hashtag strategy is how I found my current winner I go I go both ways I do them interchangeably and they've worked for me really really well I don't use any paid apps right now for product research I do it all for free like this I know there's different apps that you can use to look for ads and things like that but I just feel like this method has worked for me for a really long time so that's what I'm gonna share with you if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Miss Margarita, and I'm gonna catch you guys here next time.